Hello everybody, welcome to Kitty's Kitchen. I'm Kitty and this is my kitchen, my wonderful mask set. I hope you can read it correctly, maybe you can. I tried to set the camera, but I'm not sure if it worked or not. But anyway, uh, tonight on the menu is garlic and herb pork loin chops. So it's a Cato dinner. It's from the Carnivore Cato cookbook by Mel, Brook, my, by Mel Brown. And uh, it's been very helpful for anybody who's interested in um, losing, is a, you know, not gaining a lot of carbs and just in general staying a healthier lifestyle. So what we have is uh, four pork, pork loins here. These are pork steaks. These are five ounces of pork steak. They calls for three ounces, but these are a little bit bigger and uh, meatier than the, than the three ounces. They're about five ounces. Half a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper, four cloves of garlic already chopped, a tablespoon of lemon juice, five tablespoons butter in a, in a microwavable bowl. You're gonna have a, a, teaspoon, a tablespoon of thyme leaves, three basil leaves, and they didn't have basil leaves at the grocery store, so I'm using basil paste, which we'll see how that tastes. A half a cup of chicken broth, and a tablespoon of whipping cream, heavy whipping cream, the heavy cream. So those are the um, ingredients for our lovely meal tonight. So let's just see what uh, is the next thing to do. I think we're gonna add the, um, the spices into the butter. So the five tablespoons of butter right here. It calls for a tablespoon of thyme leaves, so put your tablespoon in there. That's about a tablespoon. And calls for three basil leaves, but this is a basil paste, so I'm just gonna probably squirt a little bit in there. I mean, at least it's a little bit of basil. There's a little bit of basil paste. A little bit more, okay. That came out pretty quickly. And we're gonna add that a little later. We're gonna microwave this so that it um, is all melted. And then in with the freshly ground black pepper, you wanna add a, table, a teaspoon of kosher salt. Kosher salt. And a teaspoon of paprika, I do believe. It's one teaspoon. Yes, one teaspoon of paprika. Okay. So those are the spices. And you want to pack dry the pork. So these, these pork steaks are already pretty, pretty dry. Like I didn't, I didn't run them under the, the faucet or anything like that. But uh, just in case, they're a little bit juicy. So let's just pat them dry with a paper towel. And there's a little bit of moisture on there, just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit of moisture. But um, there are the steaks, let's see them on the other side and what we want to do is we want to rub the pork with this paprika salt and pepper mixture once we've dried the pork okay so it's dried pork and now we'll just kind of put maybe I can spoon it Spoon a little bit of, of this rub on top of them. And we're gonna rub it in. So, just a little bit of spreading them out and pressing the salt in there, the little black peppercorns, which I like to ground with my mortar and pestle. So this is a mortar and pestle. Here's the I'm not sure which one's with. This is the pestle mortar. This is the mortar. Just smash it a little bit. Um, 
of it. You smash the ground pepper, peppercorns like that, and then you come up with some really nice fresh ground pepper. So that's nice. So then flip it over after you've rubbed one side with the spice seasoning, and then you go ahead and do the other side. This is the salt and paprika mixture and pepper mixture. So that's all the that's all the mixture that we have of the spices. And we're just gonna spread it around, share the wealth here. Okay. So that's what we do to the pork steaks. Now paprika might get a little bit on your hands, but that's okay. I'm gonna put the, the butter and basil and thyme mixture into the microwave and let this butter melt. So we'll just set it in here. Okay, so now, heat cast iron pan, which, Cast iron pan is this one. Heat it up, turn the turn the heat on right there, and we'll be letting our pan get a little bit hot here so we can put the pork pieces on there. So I'll push pause and we'll just go ahead and wait until the pan gets a little bit warm. Okay, be right back. Okay, so the cast iron pan is beginning to smoke a little bit. So now it's time to add the pork, the pork loins into the, into the cast iron skillet. You should use a pair of tongs. The recipe calls for tongs. That's because these Skillets can get very hot. Okay, so it fits perfectly in there and three minutes on either side. So we'll just go ahead and start the timer at three minutes. This herb mixture with the butter turned out really lovely. It's uh, the, the, It smells like herbs. It's got the thyme and the basil in it and uh, it melts the five tablespoons of butter in it and it smell, it's very fragrant. It smells really nice with the herbs in there. With the thyme and the basil, it's really nice. So three minutes on either side. We'll see we've got the timer cooking. So also tonight I'm gonna to be having celery with my dinner. This is a really handy tool. It's a, one of these vegetable steamer things and you put a little bit of water underneath the pan, you put the vegetables on top of it and kind of steam them for five, five to seven, maybe 10 minutes. So I'm gonna do that when the pork is resting. So the, it, the recipe calls for the pork to rest for 10 minutes. So while the pork is resting, you can go ahead and turn your water on for your vegetable on the side. <laughs> All right. So I can hear the pork sizzling. That sounds like a good, good progress is being made. So let's see, what's been up with me lately? <laughs> um, well, I've decided to adopt a healthier lifestyle. Um, and... Uh, and actively not drinking any more wine <laughs> because I was drinking a little bit too much wine uh, there in the beginning or for, for a long time actually. So uh, due to health reasons, it kind of caught up with me and now I'm wine free. <laughs> so that's the good news. Um, also, some of my projects are coming to a head I'm writing a manuscript called Understanding Socialism, and it's geared toward the youth of America, the students, 
and uh, like teenagers, you know, people, students in high school, college, you know, uh, college levels, education. And it's uh, really just kind of a simple, maybe 47 page pamphlet that's including sources. There's about five, six pages of sources. So in general, the reading is maybe about 35 pages or maybe 40 pages, about maybe like 40 pages worth of just reading. So it's kind of short and it just simplifies the, what the difference between socialism is to the free market economy or what we know as capitalism is, which is Karl Marx's uh, theory of capitalism and socialism. So now it's time to flip the pork. So anyway, that I said to my editor yesterday and She'll look at it uh, next week, this week coming up, and if she says the turnaround for it will be about a week. She'll work on it for about a week, and then get it back to me by the end of this week. So, so it's going to be edited in a professional way. So the next step is just to try to, not try, try is a bad word, do, to see about how next steps of publishing it in some kind of form so that it can be out there <clears throat> for people to read. <laughs> that's, the, that's the hope for it at least. And the other project that I just got done with, these projects happen one right after the other. Is I sent my paper to the editor on Friday and then on Saturday I finished up the recordings for my third album. So this third album I've been working on for two years, ever since 2020. I finally did the final recording last night. So that was kind of interesting. And so my projects are all kind of coming to a head. Like my projects are kind of coming to the, their fulfillment. So now I have to work on the next step of the CD, which is doing the artwork for the jewel case and um, doing the promotions for it and you know, see who wants to purchase the CD and get the CD out there. So I'm using a different company this time. I'm not going to use disc makers because I don't see the reason for me to buy boxes of like 300 CDs because I'm just a little artist, <laughs> do it your own artist. So I don't need boxes of like that in my closet. So uh, I'm just going to buy like 25 at a time, you know, and then hopefully people who want to buy it will be able to give me some money for it and then I can give them the CD. <laughs> so so it won't break my bank. <laughs> so that's, that's the good news. Uh, so these pork chops, uh, pork loins look really good. They're cooking along nicely. And let's see what the next step would be to do um, with the lemon juice and the, and the chicken stock. So the chicken stock, this is the chicken stock and this is the lemon juice. So we need a tablespoon of tablespoon of lemon juice in the chicken stock. So let's make a tablespoon. Okay. That's a tablespoon of lemon juice. And here's some garlic. Oh, so now the pork is done. Or, well, it may not be done. It's, it has to cook a little bit more too. But it's done just getting on the fry on those sides. So I'll take the pork off and put it on this plate for a moment. So. Turn this off for a minute. see what the next step is. Okay, so turn the pan to low. It's going to be on low and then now to pour the chicken and lemonade and lemon mixture into the pan here. Now this is uh, to deglaze the pan. Let's pick up all the little bits here. And 
you know, sometimes when I make my videos, this is the first time that I'm doing the actual recipe. So this might be like the first time that I've tried this one. And But I feel like if it's a simple enough recipe that I can just follow, then uh, I'll just go ahead and do it and I can, you know, kind of talk my way through it and try it out that way. So it's on low. There, it's on a, it's on a low, low flame now. So for about one minute, add the cream. Okay, so a tablespoon of cream it calls for. Let's get this after about one minute. So we'll give it a minute for this to cook on low. And then we'll add the cream. So it's almost a minute. So anyway, I want to know how you all are doing. Are you all okay? <laughs> um, I just hope that uh, my audience and my friends are all doing fine the economy is uh well it's we're coming back a little bit i think people are going to work and doing their jobs and um this sort of thing and <laughs> hopefully we're getting some relief from this pandemic that's been going on for two years and it's it's a really good thing that i had some things to do these past two years, like work on my, I've been working on my CD for two years and also this paper um, for two years. So, okay, a tablespoon of cream in there. You see this creamy up here? Just a little bit of cream in there. Okay, and now it says to add the, add the pork back into the, into this mixture here and cook for a little bit longer and it calls for about five minutes or so to cook but I think that since these pork steaks are a little bit thicker maybe a little bit more than five minutes I'm not sure but there's the pork in there and I think now we are going to add the herbs let me just real quick look Oh, and the, the garlic goes into the butter mixture too, so let's get the garlic in there. There, the garlic. Garlic in the herb mixture. And it smells really nice. So this is the this is the garlic herb mixture right here. So I think this is the next thing we add. Pour the butter mixture in. I want to get a little bit of herbs on each one of the pork chops. I'm going to spread it around a little bit. And just let the pork chops simmer in there for about five minutes <laughs> okay so I'll do that I'll set the timer and we'll see what to do next so I'm gonna just put you on pause and come back to you when they're ready okay bye okay that's been a little bit enough time I think um, I gave it a little bit more than just five minutes because uh, these are a little thicker than three ounce steaks the recipe calls for three ounce and mine are five ounce, so I let it cook maybe five, four minutes longer, or so maybe might be five to seven minutes longer. But anyway, you don't want to you don't want to overcook pork if you can help it too. So let's uh, get the pork steak on the plate here. Okay, see that looks delicious, huh? <laughs> you can see the garlic on top. I'm going to turn this down. And you can use this juice to, to spoon it on top, see? You can use the juice. But uh, 
um, so let these rest. Cover with aluminum foil, make sure that they're, they stay warm. And I'm going to turn on my celery here. for about 10 minutes and let these rest for about 10 minutes and then we should be ready to serve it up and I'll show you what it looks like then. Thanks, okay, bye. Okay, everything's done. <laughs> the celery is done, the pork is done. So let's plate her up. <laughs> let's see, the celery is really good. It's, um, it's just a little bit crunchy but still very, very tender as well. So that's really nice. I just want to get all the celery in here. You can salt the celery or I'm going to put a little pat of butter in it. Just a little pat. Just a little pat of butter into this celery and let's look let's unveil the pork chops okay so there they are all right <laughs> wow i may be hungry enough to even eat two i'm not sure well, let's see i'll have try this one i'll just put two on my plate maybe Celery ready. Okay. So there we are. Pork steak and celery for dinner. It's totally keto. I don't always follow all the keto rules because if you probably could notice that you see red in the background. Um, I'm trying to get into a better, more healthy diet, but I think that red might be uh, good, good in this diet too for me. Um, that's you have to kind of do what you have to kind of do what you think is the right thing to do. So I just cut through the pork. Looks like it's done. Maybe a little overcooked. I might have overcooked it just a little bit, but um, hopefully it'll still be good. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I hope you come back and see me again soon. And also, I'm going to post the recipe in the description of the video, too. So if you look at this video, click on the description, and you'll be able to read the recipe. So I'm going to include that as well in the video, which I do on all my videos. Okay, thanks. Have a good rest of your day. Happy eating. Bye.